Hi and welcome to Project Marlin. Uh, in this video this week we shall be having a look around the Detroit diesel. It's quite an unusual um, uh, engine in the UK. Uh, so we'll be having a look at the air intake on it. So I'll show you the pipework from the air filters to the turbos. We'll have a look inside the turbos. So I just want to check the condition of the bearings. Um, we'll also have a look inside one of the superchargers and I'll also take a cover off an air box so we can look inside the air box and see the ports going into the cylinder. And also at the end of the video, we've got to have a little bit of fun as well. Uh, just before we get into the main bulk of the video, I'd like to say hi to all the new subscribers that we've, we've gained over the last week. Uh, it's fantastic, uh, the fact that you've all chosen to come and see uh, what we're doing. Uh, I'd like to give a big thanks to Extreme Garage. Um, having Lawrence and Dan come down was absolutely brilliant fun. Um, we had a really good day uh, and enjoyed it. And I'd Love to do something with the guys again, and uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll we'll get on with the interesting part of the video. All right, I shall apologise for the wind now. Um, I haven't brought the, the microphone. Um, I'm still quite new to this, so it's it's a bit of a strange one. All right, a quick explanation. Somebody was asking about how the um, the intake works on this thing on one of on Lawrence's video. You see we've got two air filters here, one for each turbo. You see this pipe comes down here, comes down through this rubber elbow into the turbo. Goes through the turbo down and if I move my foot out of the way because I'm stood on it, that there is the intake for one of the two superchargers. Um, you see the other turbo there, the intake bending round and going back underneath what I'm stood on. If I look, um, there's the other one. Right, so I want to take those two pieces off. I'll take those off. So see if there's any oil coming out of here. Or if there's any oil hopefully leaking inside there. Um, we're going to take these off as well. So we can have a little look inside the turbo. Make sure there's no playing that they're turning all right. Um, so there are some funny noises on this engine when it runs. Uh, Another quick explanation for uh, the, the people watching in the UK that aren't familiar with these engines. They're a two-stroke engine, um, but a two-stroke diesel has exhaust valves like a normal engine would. This engine has got four valves per cylinder, but they're all exhaust valves and the inlets are ports at the bottom of the cylinders, which hopefully we'll see when I get a cover off later and that's where the air is pushed in by the, the superchargers. And to call them the superchargers wrong in a way because what they're doing is blowing air through, they're not actually really doing any compressing um, like you'd, you'd think of a supercharger doing. The, um, oh, the, the, the job of them is to push air through the engine rather than compress it, the turbos do the compressing. Um, this particular engine is a 12V92 uh, the 12 is obviously 12 cylinders, V is V formation and as some people have rightly said it's actually made from two V6's bolted together I mean you can actually see this is the governor assembly uh, with the throttle and the stop on it um, and down there there's actually between the two superchargers is a, is a connection for the drive um, so in theory I could split this engine into two V6's um, the cylinder heads are separate the blocks are two separate castings I believe that it's actually got two separate cranks, uh, one for each block, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, the 92 stands for 92 cubic inches per cylinder, which is what makes this an 18.1. Um, they're quite an interesting engine really, but I, I won't go too far into the details, because I'm sure I'll bore the pants off here. Um, I do with most other people. Um, I'll start taking some bits off, and then we'll come back to some videoing. Right, so uh, let's have a look in the turbo. Um, I don't know how well you can see in there, not very by the look of it. Um, the trading uh, motion three. The um, other turbo is off as well, it's quite nice. The, um, sorry, I'm just manhandling you a bit. So I slip this down, taking off the bracket that holds that and the spring for the the uh, throttle turn. 
taken these six bolts out but I haven't actually moved this yet it's come free but I've not looked underneath it so um, we and there we go so there's the inside of a Detroit blower um, there's the inside of the housing uh, back inside there I have I don't think the right gaskets so we'll just have to reuse the ones that's on it uh, which is a bit of a bugger but put that out of the way <sighs> a little bit of oil in there but nothing nothing too terrible um, actually fairly pleased about that I thought it was going to look worse I'm going to have a proper look at it uh, but I can't do it holding you guys so um, I'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, I don't know how well we're going to see this. Uh, in fact, we can't really see anything in there. Oh, there we go. If I move the camera down under here. Uh, come on, turn your light back on. There you go. Those holes, that's the air box there. It's rather oily, oilier than I'd like. Um, there you go, there's the top of a piston. Oh, is that the top of a piston? That's a set of rings on a piston. Um, and that's the skirt of a piston. So the superchargers, or the blowers, blow air down into a void in the block, which on Detroit's referred to as an air box. Uh, this is the air box for uh, rear engine. Uh, in my installation it's a right hand bank actually it's the front engine right hand bank um, and it's the one to second or third cylinder back from the front of the vehicle although it is the flywheel end of the engine so um, you can see there's a lot of oil in there um, it could be because it's been sat idling a lot it could be rings have gone could be coming out of the turbo although I'm pretty sure it's not now I've had a look at all that um, could just could be because it's sat so, in fact I don't really know how all these things are inside when you put them apart normally um, this one's not done many hours that could be sort of, sort of some of the problem uh, so I'm just going to have a quick clean up around there I've had a look in some of the others um, they're not so bad this was the easiest one to get the camera to um, so yeah, I mean, the only other thing I've got to do now is, see one there, that, I think that there is a drain valve. So there's four of these on the engine. They allow oil to drain out of the block, uh, basically onto the floor when the engine's running, um, which it is doing. Um, hopefully it will, uh, once it's had a bit of use, it will uh, stop leaking quite as much as it does because there's more oil on the floor under this thing than I'd like there to be um. Um, I was having a conversation uh, the other day with Lawrence and uh, we were discussing about the size of the silencers on the truck and what it would sound like straight pipes um, partly because of that uh, I've uh, done this <laughs> I've only done it on the one silencer. Uh, I was going to take that U-bend off, but it won't come off the turbo very easily, so I've pushed the silencer forward. Uh, so we're going to fire it up and see what she sounds like. I admit, I'm quite excited about this. Um, I think it's going to be really loud. I don't know what, how well you can hear me, um, but I've put the mic on its lowest setting, <laughs> so hopefully it won't overload the mic. Uh, we'll fire it up, won't run it for long, we'll just see what it sounds like.
<laughs> I quite like that. Uh, I don't know if it would uh, go down too well with the neighbours though. <laughs> it's only me. <laughs> um, some other uh, examples uh, of two strokes that we have in the UK, uh, two stroke diesels. The old Field Marshal tractor runs on a similar system to the Detroit, where we have inlet ports uh, at the base of the cylinder, uh, cylinder liner, and an exhaust valve at, at, in the head. Um, that's a little bit more unusual because it actually uses the, the piston moving back in pressurizing the crankcase to push air into the cylinder rather than a supercharger. The other examples we've seen in the UK, uh, the Comma Knocker, uh, which is a, a lorry engine from I think the 50s and 60s. The Napier Deltic, which is the power plant used in the Class 55 British Rail locomotive, uh, again back in the 60s. And the Leyland L60, which is uh, the engine from the Chieftain tank. They're all two strokes as two stroke diesel as well, although they differ in the fact that they use two pistons facing each other inside a single cylinder uh, and they have a crankshaft at either end of the cylinder, uh, slightly timed uh, to give you the opening and closing of the ports in the right order. Um, I'll try and find some videos to uh, show you uh, some of these examples um, and I'll put any links I do find in the description. Um, and all that remains to say is, is thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, please click like. Uh, if you haven't already and you'd be interested in seeing more videos, please subscribe. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.